Audience Technatic again over here at Weber Chevrolet. And believe it or not, behind me is the new 2019 Chevrolet Silverado. Completely redesigned. I'm going to show you a couple key points on the redesign and follow us for more videos because we're definitely going to get into more detail. So right off the bat, you have a little bit more of a robust design. You'll notice now the, the Silverado is about two inches longer, but they've added a lot of cab space, a lot of really smart design changes. So you'll notice up here, they've taken about two inches off of the front, moved the wheels up, so that elongated the wheelbase. Now we have some aerodynamic cues up here. You'll see this little cutout. I don't know if you can see that. Same thing, we'll get in more detail. Z71 badging, brought it up here versus over on the tailgate. Follow me back around. You'll definitely see that the cab looks bigger and that's because it is. It's about two inches bigger. The front looks about the same. Same thing, we're gonna do interior videos. We're gonna go through the infotainment system. But look at this room in the back. You can't tell me that a guy who's 6'3", 6'4", isn't going to sit back here comfortably with a 6'4 guy in front of him. Still has the same storage underneath it. Um, going back around, you might notice the bed looks like it's a little bit higher. It is, and they've added more cargo space. I read earlier today that this is our 5.5 foot short bed on here. This has more cargo space than the competitor standard bed. So if you come around, the embossed Chevrolet is back on the tailgate. Looks good. We don't have a handle anymore, look at this. Power lift gate, have it on the key fob as well. But they stretched this out, now it's still a steel bed, so you still have that sturdy construction, but you have a little bit more room between the wheel wells, so you can fit that um, four by eight drywall in there even better. Come back through here, Subtle changes, that's a little bit wider. Now I'm not wearing a steel toe, but if I was, definitely easy to get a steel toe boot in there to get to the bottom of the bed. I'm gonna lower this down. Just take a look here. They moved where the cargo lights were. So in 14 through 17, they added the cargo lights, but on this, they moved those cargo lights so it's towards the back of the bed. So if you're working at night, it's actually not shining in your eyes, it's actually at where you're looking at. And, so you're hooking up a trailer. We have a light that's gonna light up where you're at on the trailer, make it a little bit easier for you. Guys, that's just a little bit. If you guys have any questions, I mean it. Call, text, chat today, because we wanna answer the questions that you guys have, and come down and see us. We can't wait to see you guys. Have a great one, bye-bye.